Technology is changing our world. Businesses are getting disrupted every day. Are you ready for the change? Are you ensuring that you are working to ensure that you don't get disrupted or you don't become irrelevant? Hello and welcome to another edition of Chai with Pai, our weekly series of videos where I share simple lessons and stories which can help each of us become just a bit better. And if this is the first time you're seeing a Chai with Pai video, my name is Prakash Ayer. Uh, I'm a certified leadership coach and an uncertified cricket junkie. Uh, and I get my highs out of helping other people become as good as they were meant to be. Today, I want to talk about disruption and I want to start with a story that most people have heard. It's an oft repeated story and it's the story of Kodak. Kodak was this company that manufactured film for cameras uh, and they built up a huge successful business. And at some stage, um, they were actually like a $14 billion revenue company. And then suddenly something happened. Cell phones came in and cell phones had cameras and suddenly nobody wanted to take films and photos with those films um, for the pictures that they were taking. And the cell phone with a camera just ensured that Kodak and Kodak's film business was gone. It was history. And as we all talk about what happened to Kodak, it's easy for us to look at them and say, how come Kodak didn't see this coming? Uh, story goes that Kodak even had access to the technology uh, that allowed cell phones uh, to take pictures, but they didn't think it was up to much. Uh, they continued to make a lot of money out of all those film rolls that they were selling. And I think um, there's a parallel to this perhaps that I want to try and touch upon. And I want to go back to the 1890s when Henry Ford um, created the first automobile. And I want you to take a look at this picture. This is 1900 um, and it's Fifth Avenue in New York City. And if you take a close look, you will see lots and lots of horse carriages on the road and just one automobile. Now think about it. The automobile had been around for a few years and yet all you saw was one automobile. Okay? Now I want you to imagine for a moment that you were uh, either in the business of making horse carriages or you were a breeder of horses and you were probably looking at the automobile and saying, ah, this isn't going to work. You were probably investing in bigger stud farms. You were probably saying, what can I do to have more horses? And if you were in the carriage business, you were probably looking to, to expand capacity, set up more plants so that you could make more and more horse carriages. Pause the thought and now take a look at this picture. This is only five years later. It's still Fifth Avenue and it's still New York City. And as you look at that picture, all you see are automobiles. And you've got to be wondering, where is the horse carriage? The message I want to get to you is this, that change happens quickly, but we tend to underestimate the speed of change when we have a vested interest in the status quo. Let me say that again. We underestimate the speed of change when we have a vested interest in the status quo. So if you are in the horse carriage business, it's tempting to think that nothing's going to disrupt your business. You will continue to make money out of the horses and the carriages that you make. And that automobile thing is really a flight of fancy. Right? Be careful. Don't allow that to happen to you. Technology is disrupting our world. And we are all very quick to spot the disruption out there to their business. But we are not as quick to see that disruption to our business, to our work, hey, to our careers too. So watch out for this and don't ever underestimate the speed of change. Ensure that you are adapting, that you are changing, and you are probably seeing that threat early enough and taking it seriously rather than dismissing it. That's something that I thought I'd leave you with for this week. Uh, I hope it's a message that resonates somewhere with you and gets you thinking. And if you've liked what you've just heard, do remember to go off and subscribe 
to my YouTube channel. And if you like the video, share it with other people. And until next time, enjoy your chai.